It's like the one day of year girls can dress like absolute sluts and get away with it. Beloved, do not imitate evil, but imitate good. Whoever does good is from God. Whoever does evil has not seen God. 3 John 1 11. Hey girl, hey, welcome back. I'm Sky Janae. Welcome if you are new here. Let's jump right in. Halloween. It stands for everything that goes against God and it's really rooted in evil. Like the scripture says, we should not be imitating evil and that's exactly what Halloween portrays. Let's think about the costumes. A lot of the children's costumes I've seen, they're a Chucky doll or they're Michael Myers or like these evil characters, these characters that we know commit heinous crimes. That's what people are dressing their kids as. And even the costumes for women, they are overly sexualized. If you think of all things like the fashion over or pretty little things or whatever, the Halloween costume takes everything that could be positive and over sexualized and turns it into something lustful. We are not supposed to be entertaining anything lustful, anything evil, and that's mainly what our costumes, not are because not me, but <laughs> mainly what the costumes represent. It's like the one day of year, girls can dress like absolute sluts and get away with it. In girl world, Halloween is the one night a year when a girl can dress like a total slut and no other girls can say anything about it. So the costumes really exploit evil, exploit lustfulness, exploit all the things that are the opposite of God. And that's a, the small part of it. So when you think about celebrating Halloween, what do you think about it? Think of scary movies, you think of Fright Night, you think of, um, why can't I think of this? Houses. <laughs> why could I think of haunted house? But those type of things that are meant to invoke fear, that are meant to scare you, that are meant for you to have nightmares about, honestly. So, the scary movies, that's one thing where I talk about all the time where we should be guarding our eyes and ears. Watching scary movies that have to do with killing or the spirit world or demons and all the other stuff, that's the, you're opening yourself up to things because everything is spiritual. And if it's not of the Holy Spirit, it's something else that you do not need to be opening yourself up to. How many times have you watched a scary movie and you've had a bad dream or you thought you may have saw something you, that probably wasn't there or it could have been there, I don't know. But things like that really invoke those type of emotions that opens you up to the devil and what he has and what his whole being is, essentially. People also celebrate by playing what they feel is harmless pranks and tricks on each other. Harmless pranks can really have the ability to disrupt someone's whole mental health. Like that little prank, TP in someone's house, or just anything small like pranking somebody by jumping out, that has the ability to really put someone in a negative space. But you don't think about that because you're not thinking of the other person. What you're thinking about is getting a good laugh. And, and I'm saying you, not you specifically watching this video, but in general, people think they're just trying to get a good laugh, but they're putting fear into people. That's not okay. Like, why do you want to scare someone to the point where there's tears, where they're having nightmares, or they're just traumatized? Because that's how far these pranks can get when it comes to Halloween. I remember one time in college, um, in my dorm, the trash man was all the way at the end of the hall. I was in the middle of the hall. But me and my two friends were in my um uh, were in my room and I was gonna take my trash, but as soon as I opened the door, there was a guy. And at nighttime they dimmed, it was like every other light on. So the lights were dim. There was a really tall guy standing up in the hallway with a clown mask on. So it kind of felt like being in a scary movie. So I stepped back in, I'm like, y'all, it's somebody out there with a mask on. And they was like, no. So they peeked out and he was gone. So I'm like, okay, maybe I am tripping. Think nothing of it. But I'm like, hey. When y'all come with me though. So we open the door and he's there again. We close the door. So we hear two girls from the hall from our from that live on the same floor as us. We hear them walking down the hall because they would have had to pass him. So I don't know where he went, where he dipped off and hit, but they would have had to pass him to get to their door. Cause they live he was on this end, they stay at the complete opposite end of the hall. So they had to walk down the hall. And so we hear them key in. So we open the door, we crack the door like, hey y'all. Somebody was just out here with a climax. Like, we're genuinely concerned and freaked out because we like, 
what type of sick joke is this? Because it was a co-ed dorm, so we just like guys playing a trick on like trying to scare the girls. Haha, <laughs> immature. So we just let them know like, hey, there's somebody on this floor with a with a clown mask on. And them they wasn't really taking it seriously. Then next thing you know, he popped up and we was like, there he is, and he darted down the hallway chasing them. They screamed and he chased them down the hall. I don't know what happened because listen. I closed my door, <laughs> tried to my head and not my heart, but listen, I, not me, not me, not us, okay? But stuff like that can truly terrify and traumatize people, but people just think, oh, it's just a harmless prank. No, if it's not spreading life, if it's not spreading joy, fun, happiness, it's just not a guy, and that's literally what these pranks during Halloween do. Over the years, it has become so dangerous for children during Halloween. Children are getting snatched up. People are putting blades in the candy. Like, it, it could have very well been harmless. The start of Halloween, I don't know the origin of Halloween, but the start of Halloween could have probably been something harmless. I don't know, but also considering all it stands for, I doubt it. But as the years have gone, I, gone by and the world has become more evil, that's trickling down into our children. People are trying to harm children because they know, oh, they're gonna come to my door looking for candy, I'm gonna put a blade in the chocolate. Or scare the children and make them cry. That is not okay. <laughs> like, why do people get off scaring or trying to harm little kids? Make it make sense. The thing that really gets me when it comes to Halloween, especially with Christians celebrating Halloween, is that is Satan's day. I watched an interview, I watched a couple of interviews by ex Satanists or whatever, and they just, I'll, I'll link some down in the description as well so you can go watch. But they were saying how, yes, that is Satan's day, and he is joyful when we celebrate that and we allow our kids to celebrate him essentially on that day. Because if you think about the things that, the common things of Halloween, it's witches, demons, darkness, terror. Is any of that a God? Absolutely not. So as Christians, that's not something we should participate in. I don't care how harmless you think it is. I don't care if you're not celebrating in those type of ways. You're not committing those acts. You're still celebrating the day that majority of the world represents as Satan's day. And if you're a Christian, that means you follow Christ. That means you're not doing what the world is doing and you're not following the rules of Satan because that's exactly what you do when you indulge in Halloween things. In my household, we did not celebrate Halloween, okay? And it wasn't until I got into college that I went to a Halloween party and I started doing certain things and I was in love with scary movies. Like, if it was a scary movie coming out, I wanted to see it. It wasn't until I got my relationship with Christ that I realized that I'm opening myself up to demonic things that I have no business entertaining, being a part of, nor do I want to because it's scary. The spirit world is scary. And if it, like I said, if it's not the Holy Spirit, you do not need to be taking part of that. You do not need that attaching to you because everything is spiritual. Yeah, that's really all I have to say on this topic. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let's have a conversation about it down in the comment section. I will see you in my next video.